so how to find the join of two graphs this is the notation that we use for join suppose you are to find the join between the two graphs k1 and c5 so what you will do is you will first draw both the graphs individually so this is my k1 and my graph c5 is the cycle having length 5 so you draw your c5 so after you have drawn both the graphs individually now the idea is to find the join you make every vertex of one graph adjacent to all the vertices of the other graph so suppose this is my first graph g1 this is the other graph g2 so to get the join of the two graphs i will make every vertex of the graph g1 adjacent to every vertex of the graph g2 okay this is the vertex of g1 here g1 is k1 so containing only one vertex make it adjacent to every vertex of the other graph that is make the vertices of one graph adjacent to every vertex of the other graph so here i make the one and only vertex of k1 adjacent to all the five vertices of c5 that makes my join of k1 and c5 next suppose we need to find out the join of k3 and p2 so what i will do is i will draw individually both the graphs so this is my k3 which is the triangle and my p2 is the path on two vertices which is the same as the graph k2 so this is my one graph and this is the other graph suppose so how to get the join i will make every vertex of the graph g1 adjacent to every vertex of the graph g2 so this is a vertex of g1 i will make it adjacent to every vertex of g2 this is another vertex of g1 so i will make it adjacent to every vertex of g2 this is another vertex of g1 i will make it again adjacent to every vertex of g2 see every vertex of g1 has been made adjacent to every vertex of g2 and that is how we get the join of two graphs now one important part here is to find out chromatic number of join of two graphs so just remember this is a formula that the chromatic number of the join of two graphs is the sum of the chromatic numbers of the individual graphs that means the chromatic number of k3 join p2 definitely will be equal to the chromatic number of k3 plus the chromatic number of p2 the chromatic number of k3 is 3 only and the chromatic number of a path p2 is 2 that is 5 so if you see the join of the two graphs and if you find out the chromatic number i will use colors 1 2 and 3 here because this is a k3 that i am having in my graph this is what is adjacent to both of them having colors 2 and 3 so i cannot use colors 2 and 3 here um, again this vertex is also adjacent to this vertex having color 1 see through this edge so i cannot use colors 1 2 or 3 here so i am bound to use a different color 4 now you come to this particular vertex here it is adjacent to this vertex which is of color 4 it is adjacent to this vertex which is of color 3 it is adjacent to this one of color 2 and also it is adjacent to this one of color 1 so none of the available colors is now available for me to color this vertex so i need a new color say color 5 see the chromatic number of the join is 5 so you can directly use the formula to find out the chromatic number of join of two graphs so if we see this particular graph then chromatic number of k1 join c5 definitely will be equal to chromatic number of k1 plus chromatic number of c5 okay chromatic number of k1 is 1 and chromatic number of c5 if you find it out you will get it is 3 so it is 4 so let's see the chromatic number of the join here i am having a k3 so i am using three colors for this particular k3 as a subgraph now this vertex is adjacent to these two vertices and therefore cannot be colored with colors 1 and 3 however i can use color 2 here next come to this vertex so it is adjacent to the vertices colored with colors 2 and 1 and therefore i cannot use these two colors however i can use color 3 here and when i come to this vertex it is adjacent to this one this one and this one so colors 1 2 and 3 all are blocked i have to use a new color 4 see the chromatic number of the join of the graphs is 4 okay so you can use the direct formula for that 